please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Swoobie? Awesome. Nobody can be so much of children. Can you let me talk children? Nobody. I never had any interaction with Dr. Shehima today. He did not contact the family, and that is the fact. His deputy governor is here. He did not send me a text message. I don't have your number. I cannot pick numbers I don't know. So please, let's stop playing dirty politics. <laughs>
and I'm just saying this. I don't want to mind his image. It doesn't matter. My husband has been buried. He's gone. It could be me tomorrow. It could be any one of us. Life is true. And it's all vanity. Oh, yo. It's God, no? We were in different parties, but he was an elder state. And he slept on that ground. The governor of Oyo State never called me, never sent a condolence message. My husband was hospitalized for one month. What politics are we playing, please? Life is short. Well, I'm a Christian. My husband was a Muslim. We should not let the fear of God guide us in whatever we are doing. I don't know what he's gone today. So whatever he does, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me as his wife and his widow. I'm going to mourn and respect my husband's wishes. And that was what I did today. Led him to rest this I didn't want any controversy. Everything I read in the papers, I just swallowed it. I swallowed it and I let it feel. So please, the press are here. We never had any risk with the governor, with the state government. I never dialogued with them. I never confronted them. I never sent them a word. Because I didn't know it was necessary for me to send official messages that my husband was hospitalized. I didn't send messages to Dr. Governor Kayemi. I didn't send to Governor Gandhije. I didn't send to the State Governor. I never sent messages to anybody. It was all over the social media. They knew my husband was ill. I think the least anybody can do as a God-fearing person is at least to send me a word of encouragement at that time. And even after he died, not, not even you, Mr. Deputy Governor, you called who? You called my dead husband. You should have sent me a text message, sir. You can send it. I don't have your number. I can't pick up. I'm the wife of a politician. I don't pick numbers I don't know. You can send me a message, sir. Your Excellency. You can send a message, sir. You can send a message. You can send a message. Everybody is, everybody is going to die. My husband is dead. My husband is dead. And he served this this state for eight years. Eight good years. What are we talking about? Are you saying he did not contribute anything to this state? And you did not honor him for one second? For one second. The man is dead. He's dead, yes. And he's gone. Nobody can be put in front of me. Can you let me talk to them? Nobody is Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, and your subscribe, subscribe, and hit it. Face TV. Oh, Swoobie.